Well, about seven o'clock. I'm gonna start the start the shindig. Um, we got uh, hello. Well, today, uh, we'll get to that later. Um, this one. Yes. Uh, a chuff. D T I. Last jump, she doubled her knees up. Got it. Not bad. Okay. Uh, uh, the I, he, as you see here, is um, E R A. Um, e A. So A. A. Sha. Sha. D. D. C I Y Y Y S. Y I Y Y S. E. Instead of e. E, e, it's E. E. Should. Should. Said. Said. Should. Right? So this is an S wedge. It makes an S H. Should. Okay. Should. C. D. You can read the book so you'll know what she said. Uh, uh, C. Yeah, I told it. D. C. Um. E. C. Um. D. Like the letter C. C. Um. Then another C. 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 Um. A. Perfect. A. C. C. Um. So after the introduction, when you say this once, this is the cultural norms that come into place. Uh, okay. Whether if you're a male or a female, uh, the males would say A. A. <laughs> and then the females will go, oh. Oh. <laughs> and that would be in the crowd. That wouldn't be um, me. So if I say A, you say, oh. 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 Okay. So, uh, culturally, uh, when we did public speaking, it was normal for everybody to kind of get in there. And it was kind of like our fidget spinners to keep everybody focused and in, in, in watching what they're doing. So that you're, and you're also saying, hey, yes, I'm paying attention. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, you no. Know? Um, this in this one was primarily used for uh, your introduction. Is when they would use a or o, and this is where this kind of other one comes into place. Yeah. Um, when they're telling you a um, uh, history, yeah. like a history yeah. lesson. Or kind of instructions, uh, you'd say a siab. A siab. Uh, yes, honorable one. Okay. And in the old days, uh, before contact, it would have been a siam. Some. Siam. Siam. So this was like 1700s ASEAN. This would have been after colonials showed up in the 1800s. No. So okay. After, after the French showed up, is that's when we started using, I guess it'd be late 18, right? Late 18. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we started moving towards ASEAN. A C Okay. Because we started putting in these words, like for this thing right here is a table. La table, right. which would be French word for table, or table, which we okay. had. Um, we incorporated the B into the language. 
cool thing to know. Oh, earmark. Another thing Hi. people would say, and this would have been said, uh, the audience would say this. So if I were to say, um, this is how you change motorcycle uh, headlights. You'd say, hey, you grab the, the, the wire and you unhook it, it'd be AC. So it would be after each sentence, it would be our sentence um, uh, period marker or the, where the questions would be. Um, it'd be the ending of our sentence. AC. AC. The, um, the whole crowd would say this, not just one person, the whole, the whole crowd. And okay. then the same way with stories. Stories uh, would be a little different. So it, you're not, you're not say introducing yourself. You're not telling. Um, you're not passing along information. You're telling a story, which stories have this uh, unique characteristics of habu. Ha. Habu. 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 Uh, yeah. Or Hollywood. So, so uh, take this story, Lady Laos, for example. You can look it up uh, online. Uh, Lady Laos lived there in that huge big house. Then you would say Habu. Habu. All alone by herself. Habu. Habu. She had no friends or relatives. Habu. She then took it. Habu. And she swept it. Habu. Okay. This huge house. See where I'm going with this? Habu. Yep. Habu. There was lots of dirt. Habu. <laughs> when she got to the very middle of the house. Habu. She got lost. Habu. And that was the end of the Laos. Do you say it like that, Habu, all the time? Yeah, that's our that that is to earmark the end of our uh, sentence, and okay. that is the end. So the Habu would have been used for. Um, uh, having shown that you're paying attention to the story and uh, that you're uh, you're focusing in on it, that you're paying attention. Whether if you're fidgeting or not, it, it allows the, the speaker or the storyteller to know that you're you're telling a story. The same way with a siab. A siab. Okay. I guess so. It was kind of a little bit of both in there. <laughs> and then the introductions, it would be A and O. Or o. Ooh. A, U, A. A, U, A. A, U. A, U. So, A, Chof, Dit, Siayas, E, 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 Shed, Sit, Siab. Oh. Oh, a chof dit siyas e e e shed sit siab. Oh, the glottals in the front, so uh, that would be elongated. Yeah, instead of just oh, it would be oh, oh. Or A. For me. My I would be A, you two would be O. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so this sentence is Yes, you are my honorable friends and relatives. A cho. A cho. Ditsia, yes. Ditsia, yes. E e e should. E e should. C c ab. D c ab. Hey. All right. One more time. A cho. 
Teja. Tsiyayas. Tsiyayas. Eishad. Eishad. Tsiyab. Tsiyab. Hey. Oh. Oh. So this is where uh, we separate again uh, masculine and feminine. Um, T would be for males, and letter T would be for females. So your name, so mine would be Sehwash or James Ironheart, T Sta. Okay. And Katie's would be. Uh, seed sta. Seed sta. Seed sta. Seed sta. So April McConaughey seed sta. Seed sta. April seed sta. Okay, April. Seed April seed sta. Yeah. Make sense? Yes. All right. So, at sa stal chat. At sa. Okay, you're gonna have to break that one up. At. At. If. It. It's. E if. E if. Tall. Tall. Bu. Bu. Chud. Chud. I like Chud. Right. <laughs> is Chud native? <laughs> Chud is me or the I. Oh, I. We okay. don't use me that often when we say me. It's more like I am James or, you know, it's not me is James. Third context, me, I, in second perspective. One of those things where it does come into play once in a while, but it's primarily I, is Chud. Chud is I. Okay. Atsis Stalbuch Chud. I am native. That one's hard. Yes. And uh, this is where your family lineage comes into play. Oh boy. <laughs> um, let's see here. Sadly, we're gonna use uh, So, your mother's name, Seed Stat. So, even though if you're saying Seed Stat, the next part here is indicating that that is your mother's name. So, mine would be Nancy Seed Stat. Ata seed skoy. Brenda uh, seeds seedsta. Yes. A T seedsta. Brenda seedsta. A ta, so a a ta, okay. Seed, seed, skoi, skoi, okay. So this d suffix here is possessive, like you are okay. possessing your mom. That is your mom. No one else is yours, right? Possessive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? So, uh, this Atta is this very particular. Very particular uh, C indicating it's a female alive. Now, two would be for the deceased mother. So, if you had if mother's deceased, it'd be two. Instead of C? Yeah. Thank you. 
class already? Yeah. Cool. You don't get it? No, but, yeah, I don't get the, um, I don't get the difference between the live one and the Okay, so on this next one, you see Tood, Kaya, on the screen, Tood, and Seed, Kaya. So Seed, Kaya would be if your grandmother's still alive, or Seed, Skoy would be for your mom being alive, and Tood, Kaya would be for your grandma being passed away, or you'd be Tood, Skoy if your mother's passed away. In my case, it is seed kaya or seed skoy. Tood kaya. Tood kaya for me. Tood kaya and seed kaya. Yeah, well, this one we're on skoy, and it was, I was trying to uh, introduce the, the possessive alive. So this one earmarks the alive to switch it from the alive or non-alive part. So, sock bjuk. Sock bjuk. Atsishkal bjuk. Seed. Skoy. Where'd you go? So, this one, oh. if, uh, if your mother is from sock, you would say sock bjuk. Atsishkal bjuk. Seed skoy. Uh, in this part here, you would just put in the tribe or not tribal, tribally affiliated. Then you'd just totally take this whole part off here between Sok, Buch, and Utsestal Buch, and you'd just say where they're from. It could be Everett, Seedskoy, or yeah, English, or French, uh, Seedskoy. Yeah. Wherever the mom's from, uh, this part is the optional part. The options. My dad is Kasha. That's Chickasaw. But my mom is not. <laughs> and then... Um, Cultural norms, it, it would be totally fine to, it, it would be totally fine to put Everett here instead of, um, or wherever she's from. Yeah. Eden's grandma's uh, from Seattle. So Seattle, uh, Seed Skoy, or Kaya, Seed Kaya. Seed Kaya. Too long. <laughs> uh, Seattle is Zeet Zalolich. Zeet Zalolich. <laughs> Zeet Zalolich. Zeet Zalolich. Lolich. Zeet Zalolich. Okay. Closer. <laughs> Good enough. And again, um, if you put Tood up here, you'd want to put Tood down here. If, you know, I'm not, I'm just, because we're recording and I'm going to po post this online for everybody to see, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. And then your father, uh, father's name, so Ernie Tidsta, Ata, uh, well, Ata Tidbod. So is the S, is the S silent? 
on this one? Yeah. Bernie uh, Teed. Stud. Teed. Yeah. Stud. Okay. So Jerry's Teed Stud. A T Ty the the bad the bad. Yeah. The Todd Ted. Ted bod. Teed bod. Teed bod. So, a teed bod. So it. A a teed bod. Okay. Bod. Bod is dad or father. Bod. So when I say bod joke, huh? Father joke? No. Okay. (laughs) So. Uh, Ernie Tidsta Ata Tid Bod. Jerry Tidsta Ata Tid Da. Bod. Bod. <laughs> That's your dad. Uh, this one, my dad is Doof Lovey Atsishabu Tid Bod. The doof lobby is what we would say for lummy. Okay. Gideon, this this part is all optional. Uh, you could just say um, Bellingham T Bod. Dad came from Bellingham. Or Darrington T. Bod. Or, or Sassistant Wapenton Oyete uh, T. Bod. To <laughs> Assistant is a <laughs> Sioux. Or A. Tribe in Sioux. Small and pretty huge. Right. What did you say? Chicken saw T. Bod? Yeah, but it's uh, oh yeah, Kasha, it's Kasha, is Kasha is Chickasaw. Cool. Yeah, you'd say uh, Kasha T Bod. Kasha T Bod. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Kasha Atsa Stabuch Tid Bad. Kasha Atsa. All. All. You. You. Hey. Tid Bad. Da Kwa. Bad. Very good. Da Ha. Is Lafil Shed a sock bu? A sotal Shed a sock So uh, there's a northern and southern prefixes here. Uh, this one is a uh, northern. This one would be southern. Um, you'd hear, hear it from Tulal Chud Ata Sok I came, I come from Sok Swaddle. The Sok Swaddle is Sok So again, Sok um, Yeah. This stuff is uh, optional to change out. You can say a slafil chad at which uh, come from Seattle. Oh yeah. So uh, Norma just said that this is my home is 
Oh, the Excel Love Chud? It's uh, is like I live at. A Slothful? Yeah. A Slothful Chud. And Kalal Chud Alta Sakura. Kalal Chud Alta Sakura. Yeah, so this one would be I come from Tual. Tual. Okay. I guess that would be better to ask. <laughs> So, stores bomb seeds the alta alta kaya. So, uh, Catherine Brown is my grandmother. Passed away. She was living, I could say, seed, seed kaya, but it would be tood kaya. Tood kaya, yeah. So kaya yeah. is the uh, word for grandmother. Oh, okay. Kaya. So... Alta Andrews. It does sad. Uh, T. Side. Mommy, nobody. Say Dika. Dikaya. Hold on. Hold on. I'm on the phone, guys. Hold on. I'm on the phone. Oh. Ata. Ata. Atud uh, kaya or seed kaya? Atud kaya. Atud kaya. Get out of my way. Seeds are kaya. this four times. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> we all got four grams. Two grams. Yep. Two grams. Two grandmas, four great grandmas. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Two grams. So you'd say this part twice to say their names. And then you would also say this part here, uh, which would be another optional part, whether where they're from and um, other things. Sakyu, Atsistabyu, Tudkaya. My grandma was from Saxwaddle. And then, Duf, Labe, Atsistabyu, Sid, or Tudkaya. My grandma was Lummi. Uh, it's where family things come into play. Uh, the word for family relationships. <laughs> so this one is Sapa. Saba. Yeah, Sapa. Saba. Grandfather. So James Tidsta Ata Tud Sapa. My grandfather's name was James. Yeah. But I said to do what was that last one? Oh, Tude. Tude. Sapa. Gaba. Sapa. 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 Tutsapa.
<sighs> Where's Grandpa's? He, well, he's registered mummy. Could say be for a bit. Well, it gets complicated. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you'd, you'd keep adding uh, the the other tribes here as. And then you just keep putting their their fat there where they're coming where they come from on sure. the And then again, this is all optional. <laughs> Mine would be Kasha. And I don't know the rest. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. <laughs> so this is, uh, we're kind of done with this part of the uh, conversation. Uh, this is just to ask to come ashore for canoe journeys. Uh, it was uh, just something I we, we put together for the canoe journey part. Hey. Uh, see, I'm Chad T. Kelk Bead Sobaliali. I am the leader of this canoe solemn named Sobaliali. Deef T. Buck. This is all of my family in this canoe. We traveled well by water in a good way. My family has paddled hard. lil. We have lil. Lail. We have traveled by water from far away. Oh, de shed. Oh, my relations. S. Uh, we raise our hands. Oh, we are thankful for you folks. Oh, we are thankful for you folks. Hi, how are you? Oh, Chad. <laughs> so again, um, that's just to earmark the differences. And then Habu is a, a book. Uh, it comes in two two different ones. There's also this one. Um, uh, depends on which one you get. They'll actually explain um, more about Habu. Habu. Mm -hmm.
And don't forget to put the shoot seed on the other end uh, if you're trying to shop them for it. Okay. Because it might not pop up. Screen sharing. <laughs> Questions, concerns, comments? <laughs> I uploaded the uh, uh, the canoe greetings onto the group chat. You guys get access to that later. <laughs> and of course, this uh, will be online on Facebook and YouTube later. Sounds good. Got anything you want to translate? Thank you. I think we've done that before, but. Uh, Tigli Chud. Tigli Chud? Well, depending on what you're trying to do, Tigli Chud is more for prayers. So, uh, oh, Tigli Chud, Twelty Hats Hill, I am thankful for this day. Uh, it's for prayers. Uh, there would be. Uh, Oh my God. I just. Yeah, Daha dude should be thankful for this gift. Yeah, ma mainly life. food. I was very hungry and you saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> Would be a Daha dude. But everybody's using that one for thank you, for just a broad thank you instead of just thanking for the food. Okay. Or, because there's food and drink in, in that one. The outside of sock, Daha Dooch. <laughs> there's also particular ones from uh, male to female and female to male um, correspondence to say thank you. And right now, I'm spacing that out. <laughs> <laughs> Mind blank. But yeah, Daha no. Dooch or TVJ. Alrighty. Well, thank you. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Wait. <laughs> <Chuck> ma. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Boy, uh, not too much uh, outside of that today. Uh, I try to keep it short, uh, 45 minutes, I think, for right now. <laughs>